Here's the 1B coming up river for their race. Going this boat today, we have Ryan Kiernan in the one seat, Brian Kellner's in the two, Matt Noge in the three, Christian Tabash in the four, Richard Hurdy's in the five, Patrick Dent's in the six, Will Gaffey in the seven, and Kevin Jarvis will be stroking the boat. The boat is Cox by Woods Tunnel. We'll be going off at three o'clock here. Binge last year's loss. We'll see how it works out. Started. Yeah, you're looking live. Beginning of the Foley Cup race, St. Albans and Gonzaga. Always oh, hotly contested. And they're very close. Gonzaga may have a little bit of a lead. It's always hard to tell at this distance and angle. than usual. They finished just beyond the key bridge, about 200 meters behind the, beyond the key bridge. Uh, less than 100 meters beyond where the camera is. And they are just duking it out. Boats are rowing pretty hard. It's probably going to come down to who's got who's got something left after the bridge. You see, uh, we saw St. Albans go behind. There's Gonzaga. Maybe on the other side of this pillar, wait for them to come out. Final third of the race, the Foley Cup. Zaga may have like a one or two seat lead, but that's it. St. Albans is making some kind of a little move here. And we are coming underneath the bridge after which there's only about 200 meters left to go. There's St. Albans, there's Gonzaga. Well, as close as you can come. Right now, St. Albans looks like they're up. Gonzaga's gonna have to kick it in here. Six seats. St. Albans 
will retain the Foley Cup. We'll go back to the drawing board. Still, a nice race. Hard fought. 